Hey guys and welcome back. Today I want to show you the thrust reverser systems in action, as well as show you different types. What you are looking at here is a CFM56-7B equipped on a 737-800. As most of you know, thrust reversers decrease the speed of the aircraft after landing or during a rejected takeoff. As maintenance personnel, we perform multitude of functional checks, not only to make sure the operation of the thrust reverser is good, but as well as to troubleshoot. These units also house proximity sensors. They transmit information to the flight deck to let us know when the thrust reverser is in transition, stowed or deployed. The system is electrically controlled and hydraulically actuated, 3000 PSI to be specific. And this is a cascading style thrust reverser. Older models such as the JT-8D, which you'll see here, utilize clamshell style. Now let's take a look at the CFM sister engine, the CFM 56 5B, equipped on the Airbus. Notice the difference? This particular engine changed the design and utilizes blocker doors that pop out. Four per engine. Even though the design is different, the functionality is still the same. It reverses the flow of air. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that aircraft do not need thrust reversers to actually stop? That's right. The brakes are powerful enough to do so. We are able to defer one of these. So whether you enjoy the view from the ground or the view from the window, it's always wonderful to watch the thrust reversers in action. That's all guys, hope you guys had fun, take care.